Hello and welcome to Obsessive Audio. Hope everyone is doing great. We've got something really cool for you today. Just released, or should I say just updated, is Acoustica Audio's suite of Gain Station plugins. It's now up to Gain Station 2. If you're an owner of any of the Gain Station plugins version 1, then this update is free. One of the very cool things about Acoustica Audio is there's always free updates. Now, Gain Station 2 comes with some significant upgrades. You can see right here, if you're used to Gain Station 1, there is now an additional section, a texture section, that will give you harmonics. There's three different modes. There's also additional frequencies on the Pultec style EQ, one on the low band and one on the high, and those are more geared towards the mid range. There is the boost plugin that we're all used to. However, you will see that now it has up to 16 times oversampling built into it. Now, brand new to Gain Station 2 is the VSM plugin. Now, VSM is based on the new texture feature. It adds a ton of harmonics. It's very suitable for a mix or a bus, and we will get to that. Now, today I've got another mix going for you where I've used this plugin, the main Gain Station plugin, on a lot of the different tracks. So I'm mainly focusing on that. However, if you want to hear what the one knobs sound like, I intend on making an adjunct video just with some audio examples and we'll be getting into those so you get a chance to hear them. Right, so let's get to it. Here's the session. We've got a song, we've got Gain Station on a number of different places. Let's play it, see what we've got going on. Station on the drum bus, on the hats and the cymbals, it's on the bass, it's on one of the synthesizers. And there's one on the guitars on the whole bus. So let's start with the drum bus and see what I've got going on here. Uh, I've used a bit of the new texture feature. Uh, there's three different modes to the texture, as I mentioned. There's O, there's B, and OB. O stands for orange, B stands for black. The orange gives you more focus and harmonics in the low end and the low mids. The black gives you more top end and high mids. Or you can choose both and get, get it all with the OB switch here. Dialed in just a very slight amount. Here's the EQ, where I've chosen 60 cycles. I could have also chose 100, and then there's the new band at 700 to help you get in the mids. That's the new addition here. Just a tick there on the low end. Same thing with the high end, just a tick at the very top, 10 kilohertz. 3 kilohertz also you remember from Gain Station 1. But here's the new one at 1.5 kilohertz, and I've used that down the line here. Clipper is on, but I'm not giving it really that much gain, just a little tick. Let's hear it with an on and off and see what the difference is. It's on. Off. So even with that little amount, it's still a bit of a bit of a boost on the whole thing. I think a lot of it's coming from the texture. So let's take the texture down to uh, zero. Crank it up a bit. Gets pretty sizzly up there. So that was a good spot. Let's hear what these EQs are doing. Significant low end. Just a 
beautiful band there. And the clipper. Now it's going to get loud, so I'll have to turn it down. You can really mask this thing if you want. Mike Dean style. If you notice these little buttons here, M-I-K-E D-E-A-N. And those are the different modes. So the M-I-K-E are four different preamps that they've emulated for the harmonics. And the D-E-A-N are four different clippers. And they do sound different. Actually, on drums, I, I kind of found that I like the K. That sounds pretty open and uh, gives a reasonable sound. Well, let's go back to basically what we... Uh, sort of what we had here. It's not, oh, because of the output. Still a bit gnarly. I like it though. So there's the drums and some of the features there. Let's move on. We'll go to, let's just quick see the hats. High end boost. Symbol. No boost, but a bit of the texture. Bass. Yeah, let's solo up the bass. And we'll hear what's going on with that. Got a lot of 1.5 kilohertz there. This brings out a bit of the nose on it. You can really, you know, crack it out if you want. And of course, if you wanted to clip it, This sounds awesome, maybe not so much here, but on the synthesizer, it's crazy. Too much power, too much glass, it's all too much, too much. Also, I should mention here, there's a routing switch. And uh, if you go into the manual, it'll show you the different ones. It, it's color-coded, so you, you can sort of decrypt it from that without looking at the manual. But they've got a list, and it'll be like, you know, the, the preamp into the low, into the high, into the clipper, or the preamp into the clipper, into the high and the low. It's just different routings here. And the other thing I didn't mention is stereo spread. Not applicable here for bass, but I think I did use it on some other instances down the line. So let's move on to the synthesizer. Solo that up. Quite a bit of 3 kilohertz added. Yeah, how nice that is. Let's try to get those chords, those high chords. Again, more of that texture added. Let's try the black, because I think the idea here was to make it a little brighter, so maybe a bit of the brighter texture might do really well. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. 
Nice little sizzle on top. Listen without it. And here's, I've used, I've actually used the stereo spread on this. So let's hear without it. It's down to mono. Let's widen it out. So let's move on to the guitars now, solo them up. You see here, got quite a bit of texture on the low end. It's a Rockman guitar, by the way, and they don't have, those units don't have much low, so they kind of need all the help down there they can get. Boosted 60 cycles. Boost down in the, in the 1.5 kilohertz, just to get that mid. Little bit of clipping on here. Don't see much else, it's pretty. Self-explanatory, let's see what happens. Yeah, a little bit of sizzle on him, but... But not bad, can work with that. There you go, Gain Station 2, uh, the main plugin that is. Uh, check back later for the audio examples video if you want to hear the Boost plugin on its own or the new VSM. So I hope to be digging into those later on. All right, I hope this is helpful. I hope everyone's doing great. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you next time on Obsessive Audio.